King Arthur promised us safety on these shores. Instead, we found stormy seas, rocks like shark teeth in treacherous mists. Those few who managed to land will be set by hunger, cold, and nightmares born of weirdness. My people settled around a gnarled old statue. Though we did not understand its origin or purpose, the enemy seemed to avoid it. That was good enough. For a time. In the end, the winds of weirdness only grew stronger, and the statue failed to protect the settlement. There was fear, despair, and then... nothingness. As reality melted around us. Damn it, you weren't supposed to land here. Damn it all to hell. Now, listen, there's a lot to do and no time to waste. First, we must ensure you're in proper condition to actually do anything. Perfect. You can speak and yes, these are really great questions. No easy answers, though. Sorry to disappoint. Oh no, that's just an illusion. I used to get you here somehow, didn't I? You'd start talking about the afterlife and whatnot, and this... Out there. Golem of stone. 
The evil energy it emits is beyond anything I've ever felt. I'd say getting rid of that beast should be a good start.
I have no hope, no home, no gold. Mine is but misty born and cold. Oi, traveller. Want to buy a good anvil? It is all I have, I'm afraid. My own. My own, you see. Went poof. One minute there, next minute gone. And I found myself here, with this lump of iron for company. I swear to God, it started talking to me not long ago. Must prove you can take care of yourself. Kill ten bears and... Ha! <laughs> Just fooling for pity's sake. What would I need ten bears for? Show me the way. It's a mystery why these stones light up and banish the weirdness when people walk by. Many believe Merlin himself invented the runes carved into them. There's also a darker rumor. That they were left by the four dwellers to lure humans into their domain, like moths to the flame. 